Good morning, sir. Um, mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, the ministers managed to uh, arrive at uh, uh, managed uh, released a, a statement on uh, North Korea. They managed to arrive at this uh, consensus quite uh, expeditiously, smoothly, and uh, with one voice. No? And also, they also uh, endorsed the framework for the Code of Conduct in, the, in about the same manner, uh, expeditiously, uh, without uh, much fuss. Is this the kind of uh, influence and uh, centrality uh, that you think ASEAN should be building for, you, for, for the bloc to remain uh, relevant? Yeah, for sure, yes. And I mean, unity and solidarity is the most important for ASEAN to maintain the relevance and the effectiveness of ASEAN's work mm -hmm. in process of uh, community building and integration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, regarding the framework, uh, uh, regarding the framework, however, I think everyone has been asking uh, uh, whether the framework should be uh, legally binding and enforceable. Can I get your opinion on that? Well, I think in the end, it is the issue of, you know, if the COC, I mean, would be legally binding or not, you know, a framework is a framework. But the framework, we hope, you know, will pave the way for meaningful and substantive negotiations towards the conclusion of a uh, COC, which must be able not to only to prevent, but also to manage incidents of the kind that have uh, taken place so far. And uh, for that, COC to be effective, I think, I mean, uh, it had to be legally binding. But how difficult do you think it will be to arrive to um, conclude a code of conduct that will be legally binding? Because I understand this is a uh, sensitive issue with some of the parties, including uh, uh, the partners. Of course, on the part of our hand, we can only try. Okay, sir. Um, concerning the joint communique, there seems to be far less consensus on that. As of last night, I understand uh, there's still no consensus on the wording of the joint communique. And then um, the uh, Philippines released a statement yesterday saying the communique may be issued at the end of the meetings. Uh, can you shed light on why is that happening now? Well, I mean, the, the, the people are still working uh, in uh, finalizing, you know, the John communique. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you that, you know, uh, ASEAN has worked in the spirit of, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, solidarity and unity. And uh, you wouldn't see that reflected in the John communique when it is released. Sorry, sir, but just to press the issue, um, I, there, there, um, we have received um, reports that one uh, one reason why uh, a consensus has not yet been reached is that Vietnam is seeking to include the phrase land reclamation into the uh, statement. No, don't do any guessing work. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Okay, understood. Um, concerning uh, efforts to combat uh, the spread of uh, mis uh, Muslim terrorism in the uh, region. Uh, there seems to be little in the way of a regional response. By that I mean uh, ASEAN seems to be uh, allowing the nations affected directly by this problem to deal with it thems themselves. Can you... Uh, you know, uh, all ASEAN countries and ASEAN, you know, support, you know, the uh, any member state mm -hmm. in uh, fighting terrorism and that's what also ASEAN is doing helping, you know, the Philippines fighting terrorism in Marawi. But a regional response, sir. How do you think the region should, should be responding to it? This is, I mean, a, uh, a situation you know, the happening in the Philippines. And uh, the Philipp I mean, ASEAN uh, uh, will uh, respond, I mean, uh, if uh, and when there is a request from the uh, government. Uh, sir, but I understand that the Indonesia Malaysia and the Philippines already, uh, um, have initiated a trilateral effort to combat the spread of terrorism by um, acting on, uh, by stopping the flow 
of militants and funding and that they will elevate this action to ASEAN. Do you think uh, ASEAN can also act in, uh, can also uh, do uh, something that will stem, uh, more effectively stem the movement of terrorists in, in our region? No, in ASEAN we have not received any request like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, ASEAN is already ready to have any members there, mm -hmm. you know, fighting terrorism. Okay, sir. Um, can I also uh, ask one more thing about terrorism? How do you perceive this problem as it relates to the region? Yes, you know, I think, uh, I mean, uh, ASEAN is the region where, I mean, uh, terrorism is, uh, I mean, one of the uh, greatest danger. And uh, for the fact that, you know, uh, a lot of uh, IS fighters originate from some ASEAN countries, the, we have uh, fighters, I mean, uh, fighting in the Middle East, but uh, originate from, you know, uh, the region. And fighters uh, who have returned from the Middle East, from, you know, the, uh, I mean, the, the region, and uh, now active in uh, some of, you know, the ASEAN countries. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, on to another question. Singapore is going to take over the chairmanship of ASEAN next year. Uh, we have a clear picture now of the challenges that Singapore will have to face when it takes uh, over the chairmanship. Uh, how do you see, uh, how do you think Singapore will uh, change uh, ASEAN? You know, Singapore uh, next year would be, you know, uh, undertaking the uh, chairmanship of ASEAN at a uh, very uh, critical, I mean, uh, time. Next year will be, you know, ASEAN will be midway, I mean, towards the uh, midterm review of the uh, Vision 2025. So uh, more substantive work will be undertaken in implementing the true uh, blueprints, the one for the political security uh, community and the one for the economic uh, community and the one for the social cultural community. And uh, the, the, the vision itself is a very full-looking, ambitious uh, I mean, uh, vision, giving us hand towards a more, or otherwise, I mean, truly rune-based, resilient, and people-oriented, people-centered community. So uh, much work, I mean, would uh, need to be done, and that would be for under the responsibility of uh, Singapore as chair of uh, ASEAN okay. next year. Um, next year, ASEAN will be on to its next 50 years. How do you see ASEAN evolving uh, during that, uh, for the next 50 years? I mean, uh, social science is not an exact science, so you cannot say, I mean, for sure, I mean, what ASEAN, I mean, uh, will be exactly, I mean, the next 50, I mean, uh, 50 years from now. Mm -hmm. But I can only say that, you know, uh, ASEAN will be I mean, as I mean, what uh, is reflected in our vision, our new vision will be uh, more, I mean, the, and truly uh, rune-based, mm -hmm. resilient, uh, people-oriented, people-centered community, and uh, as it will be an, an organization playing more and more important regional and global role. Mm -hmm. So just. Can I just go back to my question about Singapore's chairmanship of the uh, of ASEAN? Um, the South China Sea will continue to be an issue uh, during that time. Uh, will there be a change in the? Uh, do you see any change in the way Singapore would uh, conduct? Uh, uh, in, in the way uh, Singapore would uh, take ASEAN as it deals with this uh, issue? You know. Uh the framework that uh, the uh, senior officials of uh, ASEAN and China have agreed, uh, I mean, is still to be adopted by the ministers of ASEAN and China at their meeting today. Mm -hmm. And uh, once uh, I mean adopted, that will be, I hope, you know, pave the way for more substantive and meaningful uh, negotiations towards, uh, I mean, early conclusion of uh, uh, COC. Right. And, I mean, that work, I mean, will be taking, I guess, you know, next year. Right. Uh, 
like you said, the uh, code uh, will have to be negotiated during ASEAN's chairmanship, the actual code itself. No, uh, I think ASEAN uh, hope, you know, that, you know, the negotiation, you know, can be uh, swift and uh, we can move toward even, you know, uh, earlier, I mean, uh, conclusion of that COC. Uh, but uh, in, uh, to be realistic, I, I doubt. We doubt. Can, I doubt, I mean, uh, we can have it uh, concluded I mean, this year. So uh, uh, next year, I mean, it will be, you know, under the uh, Singapore Championship. Okay. So and just to clarify, sir, what you said is just, uh, was you doubt whether the code of conduct can be concluded or uh, agreed upon next year. This year. This year. And that's why it would fall under the okay. responsibility of Singapore. Okay. Uh, but do you think uh, next year we can have a code of conduct? No, that depends on you know how uh, serious and uh, I mean how effective mm -hmm. the uh, negotiations mm -hmm. uh, okay. will be. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it, sir. I will Thank let you. you go now. Okay. I understand you have a very busy day. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir.